Connecting all the way at the Tipsy Lounge, Suguta Road, Nairobi, is where we are this morning. And when we talk about the business of eating, we definitely talk about the business of cooking. So this morning, we'll be giving you tips on how best you can prepare a quick and very nice sweet breakfast for your family or for yourself or whoever it is that you want to treat it to. But importantly, we'll also be getting the best of a tipsy's lounge that is on the chicken curry that will be prepared by Chef Kamal. That is later on as we proceed with the breakfast. We first start with the aspect of the breakfast and we have Chef Karo who's on standby to take us through that. And I'll not talk much because then we just want to get into action or swing into action as we get to have or to understand this nitty-gritty details on how best you can make the best of your morning so karibu once again interact with us any questions for the chefs you can always drop them on our social media platforms they'll be here to answer and we'll be doing this oftenly so make sure that you always keep it morning cafe caro good morning Good morning to you, Linda. Mm -hmm. So what's in store for us this morning that is for breakfast? Okay, for breakfast today, we're going to uh, give our client bacon, beef sausages, Spanish omelette and toasted bread. And for our tea, we want to prepare tea today, we will give our customer coffee. Mm -hmm. That is white coffee. All right. Most of these things we hear about, but we do not know how to make them. So straight to Chef Caro, so that at least you can get the tips. Don't just be looking at them or seeing them on the counters, yet you do not know how to go about it. It's pretty simple, pretty fast, and pretty easy. You do not need to step out of the house without having that breakfast. To you, Chef. Hello. Hello. Proceed, Chef. Yeah. We can hear you. Now let's get to business. Oh. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I will start with uh, chopping my ingredients. That is, we have coriander. I'll uh, put them here. I'll, I'll cut my tomatoes. I have onions. I have two eggs. And my bowl is here. So I'll start with chopping them. So for onions and tomatoes, we're gonna cut into dice. And if you are at home, you can use other other spices like you can add uh, some spices. You can use capsicum instead of coriander. And for coriander, you cut them into fine pieces. We're not going to use all of coriander, so I'll portion it. And also for my tomato, or for my onions, it's too much because I have two eggs. I'll separate some aside. Then I'll take my mixture of things I put in my bowl. This is my mixing bowl of today. Though it's too big, you can use a smaller one. And for your Spanish omelette, you don't put a lot of tomatoes because it, it will break when it's about to get ready. Okay, I'll break my eggs nicely. After seeing all my eggs are okay, now, 
I'll beat them. You beat it thoroughly until it's all mixed up. Okay, now I'll take my salt. Now I will take my salt. I put a pinch. If you like a lot of salt, you can put more. But for me now, today, I'll put just a lot, a normal one, a small, a normal one. Then I'll beat it again until the salt is mixed well. Since what I need is ready, my bacon is ready, my beef sausages are ready, I'll now eat the pan, then start cooking. And for heat, you can use a medium. A lot of it can, uh, can make the egg burn on the one side, so I'll reduce my heat a little. Okay, then I'll add a, a, a small, a bit of oil. According to you, can put a more, or for me, I'll just put a little for the egg not to stick. Then I grease my pan. And don't, don't put your egg when the pan has not hit well, because the egg will stick. As the pan is heating, I will cut my beef sausages so they be ready. My pan is now ready. I'll put my egg. I beat it again so that if there is anything which it didn't mix well. You spread your egg. Okay, now my egg is continuing well. Then I use egg slicer or you can use any spoon which you are comfortable with at home. If you like, like your egg brown, you can leave it a little longer. If you like it rare done, you can turn it immediately the way you, in your heart pleases. So my egg, it's okay, I'll turn it.
So and uh, I, I may prefer people to use this pan because it's non-stick. You see, you can rotate it even the fire. If you, even when the fire don't get all sides, you can just rotate it. Yeah, and just like that, my egg is ready. So I will put it in a plate, a clean plate. Since I have other, other things, other food, I'll put it into triangle nicely. small and put it here. So next, since bacon always stick on the pan, I'll start with beef sausages. I'm a chef. I'll just read it there. But before that I must add little oil because my pan is hot. Then for this, sometimes if, when it's from fridge, it can burn you. You keep on rotating them until all side is well done. But if you have a oil, a big pan, you can pour more oil, then dip them inside. Leave them for a little longer for, for it to brown. If you like medium done, you have beef sausage should be ready. If you have well done, a few minutes. I'll add a bit of oil of fire because my water is already out, so it will just cook itself now. Okay, my beef sausages are okay. Now I put I will put the fire off so I can remove them and remove extra oil because I'll be putting bacons and I don't need much oil. The reason why I'm using another plate instead of putting them there, I'm, I'm gonna remove. I'm going to remove more oil using my serviette because most customers don't love so much oil on their beef sausages. You can even do that at home, removing oil from your sausages. Just put that there. Then, now I'm gonna I'm going to remove too much oil from my pan so I can do bacon's. I'm I'm go just going to use this plate for now, but you can use uh, something pla something metal or that because the oil is hot. Okay, I'm gonna I'm going to light the fire again. So for bacon it takes the shortest time. If you want it medium, which is the best, 
and uh, if you want it well done, done and crunchy you can leave it a little longer so for bacon we'll just have to spread your bacon in the pan Then you turn them, the other side which is, it was not spread. Then my bacon is ready if I was to serve it to a customer. If you, want, if you love it well done, you can leave it a little longer. But for me, it's ready. Then I'll just put my fire off because I, have, I don't have any other thing to prepare. That's it. Then I'll toss the bread. For bacon, I'll just serve it directly. I don't need to remove anything using the salad. So we are going to toast our bread which is the last item. For us we serve three slices but you, you can toast as much as bread as you want. Sorry, I put a lot. Because I've put four minutes, when it's ready, it will just pop out. But if I'm seeing they are burning, I'll just pop it out. Chopping that to cut the bread. Sometimes if the customer don't want bread, we can serve uh, arrow roots, we can serve uh, sweet potatoes, also we have beans for proteins, uh, baked beans, and um, also if uh, we, we want some substitutes, like if the customer wants something else, we can just serve. So my bread for my bread is ready. Okay, uh, as my bread goes on, I'll uh, make some coffee. As usual times, we normally boil the water, but as for now, I've already boiled my water. I'll just serve it. My milk is also hot. So I'll just put a quarter a quarter portion of water and and three quarter of milk. I'll use my service. So for these 
If you are serving it, we normally serve it with the two sachets, but if customer asks for more, we can add. But today I'll just use two sachets. Accident. My bread is ready. This one, I'll serve three for today. Put it nicely here. Then, if the customer wants some zester, we have jam. Uh, if the customer is interested in blue band, we also have, we serve, we use that to serve the meal. Okay, for coffee, for my customer today, I'm going to serve, I'm going to serve coffee. I'm going to put for him because I've known what, I've known what the customer wants. Okay, I'll put some sugar. Because I've put sugar, salt, I, I want to do the setup for my tea. So I will serve my customer. My, my breakfast is ready. This is the full breakfast for tipsies. You are all welcome. Then he will tell us how the breakfast is. My jam, I told you, it's an optional, but I just put it for the customer. And uh, the tea. Then I will... Okay, so, so maybe you have tasted, you will tell us how is the breakfast, how is the meal? Uh, the Spanish omelette is really nice, really nice, really tasty. I yeah. like the, the way it's, it's cooked yeah. and the sausages are well cooked. Okay. Yeah, good job, good job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, any other thing you need us to serve you, any additional? Uh, I think I'm okay. You are okay? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you for just me. Okay, enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. So, okay, now I told you we are also have chicken curry, which will be for lunch. This is our thesis chicken curry. It's very tasty, uh, which is being prepared by Chef Kamal, though he will come later, but me, I'll just ex explain to you what the ingredients we use. I'll open it so you see inside. Okay, so in our chicken curry, uh, how we prepare it? So if you, it's always being done live cooking. We prepare it for you as you see, or you join us preparing it. So the ingredients we use is you put your onion 
on fire until it's brown. You put cumin seeds, you add your tomatoes, cu diced for it to cook fast. Then when it's ready like it's it's in a paste, in it's in paste form, you add your chicken. After adding your chicken, you wait until it drain all the water, the chicken water which you used when it was being cut and all that. After that, you, for us, we add garam masala, then we add salt for taste, then you wait for your chicken. Now you stir them together, then you wait for your chicken until the gravy is thick and you feel it's ready for you. Then that's how we do it. Now, I think I'll, if you, do, if you have any questions for me, maybe you, you can ask before I introduce Kamal. Hello. All right. Can you hear me? Yes, Hello. yes, yes. And call it simple breakfast things. And you know, uh, Cairo has taken a while uh, simply because, well, we yeah. had to take you through okay. so you can get to learn. But these are some of the things that after you so have learned to add so well, you can easily do it very fast while you are at home. That is on the breakfast this morning. We call it Tasty Wednesday. And during Tasty Wednesday, we are right here at Tipsy's Lounge. Yes, I say we are at the Tipsy's Lounge because then I have my team down on ground who are working out this so you can get the clarity and also get to understand some of these tips. Not just yet. I mean, before we get to go, like Karo has said, we have Chef Kamal who is coming with a signature meal for Tipsy's Lounge. He'll be taking us through what it is that they do in terms of preparation of this as Karo has equally taken us briefly. But importantly, he'll be telling us what the things that they get to do down there remember we'll be doing this oftenly at the tips is launched so to you chef kamal good morning hi 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 linda i can hear you now you well good so on uh, uh, on our kroga menu mm -hmm. yeah so on the kroga menu now uh, we have just introduced uh, just to give our customer a variety of food apart from the local uh, uh, choma that we do the wet fries, we have quite a grand menu on that one. Uh, we, de we decided to add on to that menu a curry menu. And we decided to do it as a koroga because it indulges the customer to know what they want to eat as well and what spices go in. And thus we decided koroga. On this particular uh, issue, we are later on coming up with a new menu which in the next few months we shall be in, uh, uh, unveiling, which will include chicken tikka, kebabs, sheik kebabs, uh, naan, and we shall bring forth that later. However, if there's anything else you'd like to know, please do ask. If you can hear me, uh, the question then would be, you have spoken about the Kuroga menu. Hello? I'm saying you've spoken about the Koroga menu. Uh, can you make us understand hear, what? Uh, yeah. So anyway, so just what the, exactly is the Koroga uh, menu? We are inviting new guests to come in, to come and uh, indulge in Koroga. While you, while they are doing that, they can always uh, seek my assistance, or if they do know how to do it, I will provide all the various spices for that particular dish that they want. Yeah? So I believe that is all from me for the moment until we see what else is to come on Karoga. Yeah? Is there anything uh, on, 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 on that anyone needs to ask? On Karoga, anything? Well, uh, on the Karoga right now, what uh, I can actually add on is, yeah, uh, we are located on Suguta Lane of Othaya Road. We are open for Karoga on Fridays and Saturdays. We start off from 11 a.m. in the morning. Always we we can decide to uh, book you in if you do call earlier. 
Yeah? And, oh yes, events. We, we also cater for events. So you can have all your baby showers, your bridal showers, your birthdays. This is ideal for that. We would love to have you here. And if you do come in, we would be able to write down the recipes for you. Well, we'll be giving you more of the tips is launch. We're just trying to give you a snippet of what we'll be doing. And we'll be having or we'll be hosting a session of the Koroga menu that he speaks about. So it's going to be Morning Cafe's Koroga edition where we'll do Morning Cafe live on location. That is down there as we get to understand some of the sweetest of, you know, what it is that tips is launch has in a store. So make sure that you be our guest because your mornings will not be mornings like any other. I mean, it is only fair that we ensure that we incorporate every detail of everything and anything and especially when we're hosting these shows and I always say that I love my second segment because during this segment I'm allowed to go you know and do different things and all this if you are interested I mean we'll always have a field for everyone so we'll be doing the Koroga festival or the Koroga let's go no no the Koroga festival you know it the Koroga edition morning cafe that should be soon we'll be keeping you up to tabs as to when this will happen but all the same we say thank you so much for keeping us company you got the breakfast tips I mean the chicken curry right there and more will be coming your way it was good having you right from the word go and up until now where it's now time that we come to a close as we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow same time same place remember this is morning cafe and courtesy of TV47, the home of untold story, we give you the best of the best, guaranteeing you all the best in the morning. And so it was good having you. My name is Glinda Alela. Thank you so much for your feedback. It's a wrap.